Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Good morning, everyone. We're looking at a few clouds out there this morning, but for the most part, a clear sky and more temp warmer temperatures. It's 56 now. Winds are out of the south southeast, six miles per hour. We are going to see the cloud cover increasing as we have through the day, as well as our winds and in our temperatures because we have a warm front lifting through this morning, and it's that frontal boundary that's going to bring in that warmer air from the south. Wind gust in excess of 30 miles per hour possible today, but it will be a warmer wind and then a cold front trails back to our west and that's going to bring in our next chance for showers and storms. And that is as we look ahead at the overnight tonight and into early Tuesday. So for the day today, as we head through our Monday, perhaps a passing cloud or two, we'll call it a partly cloudy day. As we continue through the afternoon, you will notice more clouds set to move in. That is 5 p.m. and then heading through the rest of our Monday. Again, looking just at a partly cloudy sky. Temperatures this morning again are in the 50s, but for this afternoon, it's very going to warm up very nicely for us near 71 at 1 up to 80 degrees at 4 p.m. and 75 partly cloudy as we head to that 7 o'clock hour. So all throughout our day, it's definitely going to feel more like summertime average daytime high at this point near 65. So well above where we should be and it's not going to be very long lived. It will start to get cooler as soon as Tuesday and then we're looking at some cooler temperatures settling in for the rest of our week. So let's Look at this cold front. It's timing and arrival midnight tonight. Skies will become cloudy by about 5 a.m. About 24 hours from now. That's when we'll see that line really setting up as this cold front continues to press through. Well, that's when we look at that best chance to see that shower and storm activity late through the overnight, very early on Tuesday and lasting through the first part of the day on Tuesday because check this out by about 11 a.m. That rain already looks to be out of the valley into the Ohio River Valley still in green cloud cover through midday and then we even clear the skies out becoming partly cloudy for the rest of our Tuesday. Temperatures are going to get much cooler beyond that. We fall through the 60s on Tuesday as that frontal system slides by, but by Wednesday, mostly sunny skies move back into the picture and more seasonal temperatures as well as we only look to top out in the 50s. So for today, looking at a high near 80 again, a very unseasonably warm day today. Winds pick up out of the south. It will be a very breezy day with 30 mile per hour wind gusts again as we rebound back to 80. Soak it in while it's around. It cools off rather quickly back to 65 tonight with showers and storms developing along that frontal system and then for the day on Tuesday morning showers and storms cooling off. You'll notice 65 will be the high because that happens earlier in the day. Those numbers just plummet as we head through our Tuesday down through the 60s and eventually all the way back to just 41 Tuesday night through early Wednesday morning and notice those temperatures as we head through next week. This week rather midweek on that's when it's going to be much cooler. 56 for a high Wednesday rebounding to near 58 on Thursday staying in the 50s for the extended forecast. Skies become mostly sunny by next weekend though just a Temperature is going to be running us about 10 degrees below average. You even see a temperature on there come Saturday morning where we will be pushing 32 degrees. Certainly some cooler air going to arrive by the end of the week and for our Halloween holiday.